Hey friends, my name is E and you're watching here Mr. Easy and welcome to a new video for A Level for the Medicine today. We have a new topic for Core P1 for Chapter 2, which is Argon Diagrams. And we'll start off with 2.1 for the rules and examples for Argon Diagrams. And we'll look into Argon Diagram. But before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll get started with Argon Diagrams. So just like you can represent x and y coordinates in a Cartesian plane or diagram, where it's just like x and y, so like x, y, you can represent complex numbers on an argon diagram, which is basically called the complex plane, right here. So the x-axis on an argon diagram is called the real axis, and it's represented as RE, right here, stands for real. And the y-axis on an argon diagram is called the imaginary axis and is represented as im for imaginary right here. And the complex number z equals x plus iy is represented on the, on the, the diagram by the point p, x, y, where x and y are the Cartesian coordinates. So like, let's say if we, if we were to plot, let's say, 2 plus 3i, that means 2 would be on the, the x coordinate is 2, and the y coordinate is 3, that means if we were to plot it on an argon diagram, RE, we are the real, and imaginary axis, IM, oops, IM, the point 2 plus 3i will be roughly around here, where, oops, let me just rub this out, um, here, here, this point here, where this is basically 2, and this is 3, so this would be 2 plus 3i, right, so, and here we have an example for argon diagram. So show the complex numbers z1 equals minus 4 plus i, and z2 equals 2 plus 3i, and z3 equals 2 minus 3i on an argon diagram. So this is, let's just start with z1. So minus 4 plus i. That means the x coordinate is minus 4, which is right here. And the y coordinate is 1, because it's, because it's 1i. That means it's minus 4, 1. And this is basically minus 4, 1, minus 4, 1. So it'll be here. Let me just label it properly. Here is that 1. And z2 is 2 plus 3i. And it's basically 2, 3. And z3 is 2 minus 3. So let's just put z2. It's 2, 3. That means it's 2 right here. 1, 2 on the, re and two on the real. And 3 on the imaginary, which is here. So therefore this is z2 and z3 is 2 minus 3i that means it's on the same uh, on the same this right here on the same uh, vertical line and 2 minus 3i will be around 2 minus 3i around here so we can see how they relate to the or origin like draw like a dotted line to the origin right here dotted line dotted line and dotted line oops it should be straight line sorry and from this, we can notice that um, z2 and z3 are complex conjugates before, uh, because the number, the number before the imaginary unit is, the, the symbol before the imaginary unit is flipped, 1 to plus and 1 to minus. And we can see that on an argon diagram, it's quite clear to see that they reflect on the x-axis, or the real axis. As you can see, they have the same real, like, uh, the, the real x-coordinate of 2, but they have the directly opposite y coordinate or the imaginary number. And here we have conjugates and vectors. So here we have some notes. So note that the complex conjugates reflect on the real axis as I mentioned. So here's the typo. That should be real axis. And as I mentioned, it reflects on the real axis or the x axis. And the complex number z equals x plus i y can be represented as the vector x y in the column vector form on an argon diagram. This means you can add or subtract complex numbers on an argon diagram by adding or subtracting, so it's another typo, or subtracting, subtracting their corresponding vectors. And it's basically just like normal adding and subtracting vectors that works the same way as in the argon diagrams. So here we have some vectors example for adding and subtracting. So we have z1 equals 4 plus i and z2 equals 3 plus 3i. Show z1 and z2 and this will go on to it later. So here we have z1 right here. z1 is here. z1 is, uh, is 4 plus i. So here's 4. 
here's i or basically 1 and z2 is 3 plus 3i and here's basically 3 and here's 3 right show z1 plus z2 on an argon diagram so it's basically like uh, uh, adding um, adding vectors together so the here we have some note here the vector representing z1 plus z2 is the diagonal of the parallelogram with vertices at, uh, at o or the origin z1 and z2 you can use a vector's addition to find z1 plus z2 which is basically 4 1 plus 3 3 equals 7 4 that means z1 plus z2 is at 7 4 so this is at 7 and this is at 4 so the best way to, to visualize it is to see like z1 plus z2 right the question is z1 plus z2 that means we, we, uh, we're putting the tail for z2 onto the head of z1 so what it means that here we have z2 right it's this around this arrow and z1 is this arrow oops let me just around this arrow right z1 we can put the tail of the z2 arrow against the the, the mouth or the head of the z1 arrow that means it would be this right this is a z1 arrow we can put the tail of the z2 arrow to the to the head which is around this and therefore it's just basically the same as going on a straight line so what i mean is that for this z2 right here we can just transpose it to here as you can see there's a dotted line all the way up here and then we get z1 plus z2 and the final example z1 equals 2 plus 5i and z2 equals 4 plus 2i shows z1 and z2 so we have z1 here z1 is 2 5 that means this is 2 and this is 5 and sorry this should not be the real axis this should be the imaginary axis sorry so this should be imaginary axis and this should be the real axis so we have z1 is 2 plus 5i and z2 is 4 plus 2i that means this is also 2 so find z1 minus z2 on an argon diagram so it's a bit more difficult to, to use the head to tail method so you can just use the vector method so the vector corresponding to z2 is 4 2 so the vector corresponding to minus z2 is minus 4 minus 2 and the vector representing z1 minus z2 is the diagonal of the parallelogram with the vertices at o z1 and z2 that means the resultant vector is equal to z1 minus z2 which is equal to this line right here which we can calculate by doing some uh, just count the squares or something this would be minus 2 so minus 2 and it would be 1 oops minus 2 1 2 3 and this is 3 therefore we know that z1 minus z2 z1 minus z2 will be equal to minus 2 plus 3i and that's the final answer and that's it for this short video for the rules and examples for 2.1 for argon diagrams and I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so let me know any future videos and if you have any comments or constructive feedback about my channel or my youtube or my instagram you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them and check out my social media in the description for example linkedin or youtube or instagram and if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.emisteasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you on the next video which will be 2.1 Argon Diagrams for the questions video which will be interesting and fun. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.